presented by Hyatt Regency Guam. Cafe Kitchen now open daily for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And we're back. Thank you so much for tuning in. Well, recently, For the People tour wrapped up, and I had the opportunity to sit down with Hawaiian artist Shark Carrillo. Here's more. Let me start by saying, you ain't no typical man. Intrigue me in ways that I can't even understand. Hawaiian artist Shar Carrillo was born on the island of Kauai and started singing at the age of seven. She recorded her first song at the age of 17, and by the age of 23, she had taught herself how to play the guitar and was writing her own music. She said she has always had the dream of becoming a musician. My family, my mom, my dad, grandmas, you know, they were they were really good musicians and I've always been around music and I kind of already, you know, I knew that I wanted to do it. Carrillo says the biggest obstacle for her was getting over her shyness. It took a, a little while, but I didn't start singing professionally until about um, 2010. And that's when I realized that I really wanted to do it just because, you know, I felt like I, I should follow the footsteps of my family. And um, I, I actually started at, like doing open mics and, and stuff like that. I wanted to start from the ground just to see, you know, what the whole scene was all about. She released her first EP, Letting Go, in 2012, which led to three nominations at the 2013 Nohoku Hanohano Awards. She released three more singles, all of which were played on local radio stations, New Zealand, Japan, and right here on Guam. Although she credits a lot of singers like Mariah Carey, Beyonce, and Whitney Houston for influencing her, there is one who tops all the ladies. Bruno Mars, for sure, because he's such an entertainer. You know, I mean, you can be the best singer, you can be the best um, musician, but if you can't entertain the crowd, you know, it, it's something that you really got to have. So I really look up to Bruno Mars, and he's from Hawaii, so he's like my biggest influence right now. Most notably, Shar has opened up for artists like Magic, Shaggy, UB40, and Kenny Loggins. Recently, Carilla was on island along with fellow Hawaiian artists Rebel Sojas and Ellie Mack as part of the Armed Forces Entertainment's For the People tour. For her, it was an honor. Just to be able to perform for, you know, the protectors of our country, you know, I, I'm so happy to be here and um, I want to thank them personally for, for protecting us and um, it's just, it's a pleasure, it's a huge pleasure and I was so happy that um, our manager Ray asked me to come aboard. In December 2016, she released her second EP, Taste of My Love. A lot of the inspiration actually comes from friends and what they go through. I can see from, you know, their point of view, I like to write because, you know, friends, they always have, you know, they come to me for their you know, drama <laughs> to, to vent, so I usually take it from them. And I, I write for mainly my friends. When asked if there was a memorable moment that has stood out in her musical career thus far, Krilla says it has to do with her first song, Sweeter Than Honey. My dream has always been for people to, to sing my, my music and uh, it even happened last night. It happens every time, you know, when I'm singing my own song and for them to sing it back to me. That is, that's what makes it feel it, you know, it's all worth it. You know, all the hard work that I've, you know, put out in the last five years. It's that moment when everybody's singing your song, you know, it's like, okay, I, I did a good job and I, I, I put my music out there and they're singing it back to me and that's a dream come true for me. To find out more about Shar and to keep up to date with her latest projects and shows, you can like her page on Facebook and check out her website at sharcarillo.com. You can also find all of her music on Reverb Nation and purchase her songs on iTunes and Amazon. Coming up, we take a look at Billabong Guam and Tumon, and we close up the show with music from Hotbox. So you're watching In The Mix. Your community calendar is brought to you by Taco Bell. Whether it's your first meal or your fourth meal, we've got you covered. Taco Bell, live moss. <laughs> 